Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from creativecodingclub.com and today I just want to give you a little rundown of a little creative coding experiment I did the other day or a little exercise I should say, all right? One of the most difficult things as a creative coder or a creative anybody is that you're always starting with a blank page, all right? As a coder, we don't have any HTML, CSS or images to work with really and it's like, what am I supposed to do? Just move a bunch of circles around? Well, you know what? That has its place too, as you can see in this demo here. But the other day I was scrolling through X and I saw this wonderful dirt finger drawing of this guy making a cat out of four fives, okay? And I was just like, you know what? I could probably draw that in boxy SVG and animate it with GSAP. I really like the simplicity of it. So I, crapped op so I cracked open boxy SVG, whipped together this little cat. And once the cat was drawn of individual path elements, it was really super easy to bring it into CodePen, drop in a line or two of GSAP, and boom, all those lines just drew themselves automatically in perfect sequence, all right? How much fun is that? It maybe took me 20 to 30 minutes to draw the cat and about three minutes to code the animation. Now you may notice that the animation runs a little bit slow, especially on these sort of short strokes. Well, the reason for that is because we're using the same duration for all of the strokes being drawn. If I bring the duration down to 0.2 and the stagger down to 0.2, what you're going to see is that everything goes a lot faster, all right? Even the really big strokes, and that may make the animation play a bit faster than you want. But I would say overall, this is a little bit nicer. But what I went ahead and did was made an alternative version where I was able to group some paths together and give each group its own duration and stagger so that I could have the shorter lines draw quicker and still have the longer lines have a little bit more time so you could actually see what is happening. But again, once the cat was drawn, it didn't take much time to group these pieces together. And then I just basically copied and pasted the same code over and over again and changed some settings. So hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration from this. I built the whole project based on a finger dirt drawing, okay? So really, as you're going about your life on X in the real world, when you see things, say, hey, could I code that? And if you're curious, just dig in and start somewhere, all right? And if you know nothing about this creative coding or SVG or GSAP, as always, check out my courses at creativecodingclub.com. I got you covered from start to finish, all right? So have a great day and try to draw a cat on your own. See you in the next video.